As a part of the Criminal Enterprise DLC, car dealerships were added into Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. Now, car dealerships are a cool idea. You can inspect the car, and even if you go to Simeone's car dealership, you can test the car for five minutes before you make your decision if you want to buy it. It's kind of like what the LS Car Meet has, where they got three cars a week that you can test out, but I have some problems with the car dealership that I feel like Rockstar really could have hit home here with, and they still could in the future, but definitely something I think would make the car dealerships a much better property than they currently are. The problem I currently have with the car dealership is that there's nothing really to do there. Honestly, the only reason I ever head there is if I want snacks and it's a quick way without having to go through a cutscene in my office building or my agency. I can just run right into the building, get some snacks, and run right out. I think that's something great about the car dealership and it's really the only reason people actually go there in the first place. Every week there are cars that go on sale. And this week, for example, we've got the Pegasi Vaca, we've got two open wheel racers, the RE7B, the Ocelot Jugular, we got the Vapid Hustler, and the Benefactor XLS. And all of these cars are for sale, yet the only vehicles you will find on podiums that you can test drive is the Ocelot Jugular and the RE7B, which is in the LS Car Meet. I don't know why Rockstar doesn't make it so that all of the on-sale cars are available to test drive and purchase inside of the car dealerships. That would actually give a bit of incentive to go to the car dealership, test out a car on sale that you might want to get your hands on, and then give you the deciding factor if you want it or not. I think that would be a great idea. Put cars like the Vapid Hustler, the Pegasi Vaca, the XLS inside Simeone's where they're a bit cheaper, and maybe put the RE7B and the open wheel racing cars inside the deluxe car dealership. Personally, I just don't see the drive to go over to the premium deluxe dealership and drop $3 million on an LM87 that's not for sale that I can't even test drive. All you can do at the premium dealership is literally inspect the car. Who cares about inspecting the car? I can go on YouTube and search up a full review of the vehicle and learn more than GTA showing me. At least Simeone you get to test drive it, which I guess is a bit better. The other idea I had was just making every car in the dealerships on sale by like 10%. If Rockstar doesn't want to put the on sale cars themselves in the dealerships, then why not make every car, let's say for Simeone's, 10% cheaper? Because like right now, Simeone's got the Buffalo STX for sale. And I think it's really cool. It's got the Sprunk livery. I'm tempted to buy the car just because of the livery. But if it was 10% cheaper, it would be sitting in my garage right now. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people would buy cars if they were just 10% cheaper because you're still saving money. If you bought 10 cars, you're literally saving a full price of one car. So I do think that's another way Rockstar could easily take advantage of these dealerships is by making the cars just a slight bit on sale so that you'd actually want to go test drive and maybe purchase the vehicle. In fact, a system like this already exists, and it's part of the Tuners update. A lot of people, in fact, I don't think anybody really knows this, but when you reach level 50 on your reputation bar, when it comes to the LS Car Meet and the Tuners update, you actually get 10% off a car of your choice. And every subsequent level you reach, so when you reach level 51, you get another 10% voucher. 52, you get another 10% voucher. I actually think that's a really cool way to want people to keep increasing their reputation level at the LS car meet. And I mean, heck, I'm I'm really trying to get my way up there to level 50, met like level 20 right now. On my Broke to Billions account, that is a massive way to save money on cars. 10% off of every car. I'm easily going to use that on the most expensive cars in the game that cost like 3 mil. Maybe I can even use those discounts on vehicles on Warstock because if I could, that would be huge. Imagine saving 10% off of an Oppressor Mark II. I mean, that would be $360,000 on one vehicle alone. Alone. So it's not like Rockstar hasn't done this before where they do have these 10% vouchers. They could very easily do it for a dealership. Simeone's car dealership is light years ahead of the premium deluxe car dealership because at least in Simeone's, not only do you get the free snacks, but you can also test drive and walk inside of the dealership itself. The problem with the other dealership, which is the premium deluxe one, you can't do anything with it. It's just kind of a display window that you drive by you say, oh look, there's two cars, bye, and then you drive away. I don't think I have once 
walked up to the deluxe dealership apart from the first time it came out just to see what the heck it was and then for today's video there's no reason anybody's ever gonna go there maybe you'll look at a car and be like wow that is a car it has wheels but you're not gonna be tempted to buy a car because you inspected it so in my opinion Rockstar really needs to make it so that you can walk inside of the premium dealership and as I said make the cars on sale maybe have a coupon system for once a week you'll get like a 10% voucher that you can use on one car on sale again I think that would be good incentive unfortunately right now there's zero incentive for me to ever want to go to any car dealership and purchase a car you might be asking me why I care enough to make a video on the car dealerships. Why not just ignore it, drive past it, and honestly, that's what I'll do. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm probably not going to think much or ever about the car dealerships. I'll drive past it and be like, wow, there's a car dealership. Cool. I won't be going there. The reason I'm making today's video is because I'm a bit disappointed that Rockstar missed the bar here. I mean, clearly Rockstar is spending a lot of time on these dealerships. Not only did they have to make a new building interior when it comes to the premium deluxe deal, dealership, but as well, every week they are putting new cars into the dealerships. Now sure, probably takes like 10 minutes of work, they just have to come up with a list of cars and probably type them right into a list and boom, those cars pop up in the dealership. But still, it is a bit of work Rockstar has to do every week, and they probably spent a lot of time building and designing the dealerships the way they wanted them to be on release. So it really doesn't make sense to me why Rockstar didn't make the dealership something that people would care about. It's like they put a lot of time into something for literally zero reward or work, apart from a shiny building that they can say, hey, we, we put cars in building. When the car dealerships were released, I was like, ooh, maybe we're gonna get a new property that does something cool, we can do some new missions or jobs, kind of like the Agent ULP, but no, it's literally just a building that you can't do anything with. So let me know if maybe I'm just the one bugging and you actually do enjoy going to the car dealership for some reason, maybe there is some sort of incentive to go there apart from this free snacks, let me know in the comments down below. Either way, I personally am disappointed with the car dealerships because I really was hoping that they were are going to bring something new to the game that would you know especially for like my broke to billions account give me some sort of reason to go there test drive the car and maybe get some discount but unfortunately it seems like that is not the case either way hopefully you enjoyed today's video i did want to say thank you all for the massive amount of support on the channel i really haven't said that enough lately but i mean man we're almost up to 9,000 subscribers and it's been only a couple days since the channel has started really getting popular so thank you all for the subscribe Descriptions. One thing I'm really trying to do on GTA content is be just as honest and not clickbaity at all because I feel like there are a lot of YouTubers that do try to clickbait when it comes to content and it's kind of disingenuous. So either way, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have any specific topics you want me to talk about in the future, I'll do that as well. Either way, as I said, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.